Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup collection, and I'm just going to get started. So if you see anything that you want um, a review on, or a closer look at, or anything else, just let me know in the comments, or leave me a message. And I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, because I do have a lot to go through. Um, I was going to do, like, a tour of my makeup stuff, but I eventually plan on getting a new storage, so... Here we go. Um, I do have some makeup items in this little thing, which I, oh, I guess I should have kept you in a frame, um, in this little thing, which is from Bath and Body Works, and I just use it as a base brush holder, but, um, the makeup things I keep in here are these two lip glosses that don't fit in my, um, little lipstick holder thing. These are from NYC, and they're the Extreme Lip Glider. And then I have a makeup remover pen and a lip stain and this one is in pink petal and then I do have my foundation my one foundation this is the coverall cream foundation and this is in the color here like there raisiness that's cheddar going nuts fun times fun times okay so, up here, I have these two, um, Sterlite, um, little container things. This one was sent to me from my friend slash subscriber, Alicia. And then this one I got at, um, Wal Walgreens, like, years ago. Anyways, I keep my perfumes and stuff up here, and I keep my EOS lip balms, um, up there as well. So I'll just give you, like, a little on that. Um, if you want me to go into further review on that, um, I will. So, this one is, I'll just take it out drawer by drawer. Um, these are just bases and primers. So I have my e.l.f. eyelid primer, my milk jumbo eye pencil, the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer, which I really don't like because it just feels like a thin lotion and it also has shimmer in it. Then I have my 24 hour tattoos. I have a purple, taupe, teal, and asphalt one, or the um, gray one. And then I have some, um, whatchamacallit, other pencils. And the L'Oreal Studio Secrets um, Magic Perfecting Base. The second drawer, and I just put stickers on it with Strawberry Shortcake and Hello Kitty. Um, my friend actually put the um, little design in there. So I thought that was pretty cute. And I just kept it in there. This is more of face stuff. Um, the Benefit Pore Professional. Primer, the NYC Green Concealer Cover Stick, um, a lip balm from Avon, my Staniac sample, um, my coverall powder, which I really, really like, and a concealer from Maybelline, which this is one of my absolute favorites, another concealer from Mineralo Mineralogy. It just looks like that. Um, a bronzer from Rimmel, which this is my favorite bronzer. It's a natural bronzer in sunlight. And then there's the Stay Matte Powder. And this is in transparent, but I think this um, washes me out too much, so I haven't really been using it. But I will try to make it work. And then, of course, concealer, which is the Glamouflage Concealer. And then there's also another LA Colors Powder, which I'm actually kind of scared to use this again because I used it one time and it, like, completely, um, I don't know, it, like, dried out around my mouth and it, like, was itchy and, it, I don't know. I think I had an allergic reaction to it, but it's in the color Nude. And then there's just some, uh, random other stuff. The in third there. one is my mascaras. Um, I do have a random, like, Dr. Pepper lip gloss or whatever. Um, and then I have the Happy Booster Transparent Powder. 
and it just looks like that. And this is what I use to do my makeup when I need to go close up. It's just a compact. It has a mirror. Um, it's actually a foundation powder, but it's way too dark for me. My friend had actually given it to me. So, yeah, it just looks like that. And then, um, as you can see, I really don't have that many mascaras. I have the Mega Plump one that I just got, which this one is dry. I don't know. Has anyone else experienced this? It's just, like, dry and it doesn't transfer at all. And then I have the other Mega Plump from uh, Wet n Wild. That's in the red. And then I have Mega Plush, which is my absolute favorite. And then I also have the, um, Lycra Lash Extender one which I really, really like too, but of course it's discontinued, it's being discontinued, so I don't know if you're going to be able to find it. And then I just have a random spoolie and a little heart, um, mirror, as you can see. And then my little eyelash curl that I got from the dollar store, I think it's a Madonna Michelle brand. And then I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and I also have this cute little mirror, which I've had for years. Um, that's, it's from the, uh, it's from the bomb. So now the second so. one, um, these are all my eyeliners, um, pencils, liquid. I also have my eyebrow powder, which I don't really use anymore, but this is in Pebble. Um, it's from e.l.f. and it looks like there might be some shimmer, but it doesn't transfer on the eyebrow, and it just looks like that. It's just like a taupe, and it works perfectly. Um, I have my favorite eyeliner, liquid eyeliner from NYC. I have some glitter liners, um, the hip one. I have my eyeliner, or my, um, sharpener, which I got from Avon, and it actually wiped off, because I've had this for, like, ever, or so. Um, I actually need to clean it, because I just got done sharpening pencils not too long ago. Um, and then I have the, um, Urban Decay one, which I got with all the Urban Decay eyeliners that I bought, like, a while ago. But I haven't used that yet because my, um, Avon one has worked just fine. And I have the Ico, um, eyeliner that came in Birchbox when I had Birchbox for my birthday that one year. And then I also have some lip liners in here, too. So these are just eyeliners. It's like basic stuff. This middle drawer is not really um, makeup per se, but this is just like more like a junk drawer. Um, actually, no, not junk, not junk, but like this has my nail stuff, my tweezers, a little like bracelet my friend made me from Claire's in um, middle school or yeah, no high school. It just says like spoiled, has like a star, butterfly. And like cherries somewhere. Yeah, cherries right there. It had two other charms, but I think they fell off. Anyhow, um, this is just the Elf Cream eye Eyeshadow, and this is the bronze one. I used to have two others, but I got rid of them because I don't use them, and um, they dried out on me. And then I just got a sample of the uh, blender cleaner. It's for your, um, beauty blender, but it's just a cleaner. I got it from Birchbox one year. Some sparkles, um, they went around Mega Sparkle. Confetti, um, it's just glitter, and this is in Pink Sugar. And then these are some samples that I got from Birchbox and other samples. Um, I got an eyebrow razor. My dog tag necklace that Tommy and I made. It says Christy and Tommy. If you can see that. I just thought it was really cute. And we got it made at a mall. And then here's those like little um like nail art things. There's some glitters and all that. I went through all that. Here's my Spider-Man earring that my well I, it's a it, they're a pair. I just the other one's somewhere in here. Um, it's just my friend, or, well, I guess my husband and mine, mine and my husband's friend made these. So, yeah, this is just a whole bunch of mi mismatch, uh, there's the other earring. And then under there, that's a Wet n Wild brow kit. 
And then here's a sample from Coastal Scents. So, yeah. Bottom drawer is blushes. Um, so I'll just real quick run through that. Here's the Rimmel blush. Positions formula. I have two Maybellines. Um, two NYCs. I used to have more, but they really suck, honestly. Two of my e.l.f. studio blushes, which are really amazing. Another Wet n Wild. Another Wet n Wild. Another Wet n Wild. And then this cream blush from the NYX. The NYX stick blush. And Pink Lotus. This foundation, which is the Dream Nude Air Foam. And, yeah, I don't know. This is okay. Um, I mean, there's not really much coverage. But... Who am I to say about anything about foundation? Because I really barely use it. Um, <clears throat> I do have like a bunch of samples and cardboard and stuff, but that's for like nail art, so nail polish doesn't like um go like seep through. And then here's my makeup wipes. I store them upside down because I find that the moisture, you know, gravity brings stuff down. So, if I do it upside down, then the moisture will stay, or go to the top. Um, so, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my actual makeup stuff. I know, I spent so much time on the other stuff, but up here, um, I still have this five drawer thing. Um, as you can tell, it's a little destroyed because of cheddar. Um, but up here is like where I have most of my lipsticks, and I'll just bring... I'll just bring it over here. Um, here's my Wet n Wilds right here. I have some hard candy, which is the mouthing off ones. I have three of the dollar store um the LA colors lipstick, lip gloss duos. I have this one, which is a lip gloss. Um, I have four of these, which came in a little set. They're the Buxom lips lip gloss. I really, really like them. Um, a Maybelline lipstick. Here's some, um, Mega Shines from Wet n Wild. Hopefully you can see these. I'm really sorry if you can't. Um, here's a NYX lip gloss. Uh, Baby Lips and Cherry Me. My Shiva from NYX. Airy Fairy, a lip balm from City Color, and um, Revlon Fuchsia, and then this is Fuchsia Nista from Wet n Wild, Fergie. So yeah, this is what I keep it in, and again, my friend sent me this with the cute little zebra print um, ribbon, so that's what that looks like. And then... We'll go into the short. I keep my mirror in here because I used to keep it on my desk and then Cheddar knocked it down and I don't want to crack it. it. Um, that's so what it looks like. And then it has the magnifying side too. So, yeah. Um, I got this at Walmart for like $10 like a couple years back. And then here is the contents of my eyeshadows. Um, I have it like by brand, um, and this is just a mixture of, like, Maybelline and Sephora and Elf, and then there's my L'Oreal Infallible, yeah, I have, like, a whole bunch, and then I have these Maybelline quads, and then I do have the, um, cream eyeshadows, too, from Maybelline, yeah right there. And then I have some Max Factor. Two Max Shadows. I was gonna give my Evening Aura away, but I figured that I could do something with it. The other one was my sister, though. Um, here's LA Colors and Rimmel and Physician's Formula. And more LA Colors. And I'm gonna try not to go too oud in depth. I got these. Um, so as you can see, nothing has really changed with my makeup. Um, I did go through a lot and get rid of a lot, but 
there's some, there's Sparkle Till Morning, uh, Comfort Zone, Petal Pusher, and the I Love Matte Palette. And then I got a lot of the trios. And then I got a lot of these singles too. And I believe that's an Ulta um, squad that I had received. There's some of my Rimmel right there. And then I have a lot. I have a lot of the um, LA Colors trios. I think I have almost all of them. I did get rid of some because I don't use them, but to my sister, I say I got rid of. Um, so yeah, I just have them, and I do have the um, Bold Eyes palette. And then there's some more of the trios. So that's the majority of it. And then the set in the second one is more of my palettes. Um, I do have some makeup sponges. I have my bear palette, which looks like that. Um, I have some Q-tips, which I'm almost out, so I have to go get some more. And I have some e.l.f. palettes that I have accumulated. I have my e.l.f. 100 palette looks like that um I have that no name palette which I use a lot um I have a purple smoky eye palette from icing and then I also have the true blue palette from Claire's palette which is a designer makeup set and I got it from five and below it's from Profusion. It just looks like that. I have two of these um, quads, which are eyeliner sets from NYC. One's pastel, one's like a deeper, darker color. And then I have the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. And then this, um... Philosophy palette, which it has just like two lip glosses, two eyeshadows, a cream blush, and two powder blushes. And then I still have this pigment from MAC, it's Bell, Blo Bell Bottom Blue. And then these two palettes, or I have three palettes, I have the um, True Blood palette for Tarte, or Tarte for True Blood, and then the Click Your It palette, which you're not going to be able to see, the Click Your It palette from Smashbox, and then I also have the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette, which I love, which and, and then I do there. have just nail stuff down there, but that's not really part of makeup, but yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and like I said, if you want me to review anything or do anything, um, like more in depth, um, let me know. So, I will talk to you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.